Okay, hey guys. So, wait, not necessarily hey guys. Um, this reading is specifically for my July babies, okay? So if you was born in July, this reading is for you. <coughs> okay, oh, where's the light? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, I took the light. Hold on, y'all. I unplugged the light. Lord of mercy. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. There we go. <clears throat> There we go. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Okay. So, uh, yeah, this is for my July babies. I'm doing sex readings, okay? Um, if you were born in July, July 1st through the 31st, whatever the fuck, any place in July, this reading is for you. We're going to be tapping into your, <clears throat> I just ate, excuse me. We're going to be tapping into your sexual energy, okay? I want to know what's the tea on y'all sex lives, okay? <laughs> I want to know what the fuck y'all be doing, what y'all into. And um, Spirit is also going to be suggesting some things that maybe you guys want to try or that you, or, or that, yeah, that you want to try um, and things that you should open yourself up to trying, you know what I mean? Because you don't know unless you try it, you see what I'm saying? So stop being basic okay even if y'all are basic out there shout out to the basic lovers okay i, I don't want to make it seem like i be sh i be shaming y'all i'm not i'm not here to shame nobody i just want us to live our best lives like period okay so yeah you should always be uh trying new things in your relationships your sex lives and shit like that because like you've only got one life to live so like if you don't try it how you know if you like it if you don't try it like, what are y'all doing to spice up y'all y'all sex life? What are, what are y'all really doing? Y'all doing the same three positions every night? You suck his dick, he eats your pussy, he sucks on your titties, you're moaning, kissing, sucking on the neck, okay? He fucks you in whatever position y'all do every night, and then it's done. That's basic, you understand? <laughs> In my opinion, it's basic, okay? So angels, ancestors, the highest white light, spirit, most high God, please use me to choose nothing but truth and honesty in this sex reading for my July babies, okay? No Zodi, we ain't doing Zodiac signs. Don't come here talking about, oh, but I'm this and I'm that. We, I'm not doing Zodiac signs. I'm doing your birth month. Whatever month your mother pushed you out her pussy, that's the reading you should be watching for these sex readings, all right? Thank you, all right? So yeah, angel answers the highest white light spirit most high God. Please read a channel nothing but truth and honesty. And just read it here for my July babies, okay? What are they unaware of, okay? What do you want to bring to their attention, okay? Bring to the forefront of their consciousness, okay? Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you guys so much. Alright. I'm channeling with all everything clear course, clear course, clear course, clear course, clear course. Energy for July babies. July. Y'all see me and Woogie's new fish. This is a new addition to our family. Well, it's my daughter's fish, but it's a new addition to the family. Okay, so it's our fish, period. Okay, we got a couple cards coming out. Give me a full spread, spirit. All right, it's about five cards. This one wants to come out too. Okay, this one too. Okay. light them out okay let me light them out okay we got one two three four five six seven move this out the way we need eight nine ten and we need okay we need 13 more spirit 13 mm. oh excuse me 13 okay <laughs> thank you <laughs> seven um, eight nine okay <laughs> bottom of the deck we got a. Uh, so y'all like to go on uh very Y'all like to go on dates with your partner, okay? Lunch dates, breakfast dates, dinner dates, all that shit, okay? And y'all like to just uh, spend that quality time with each other. Y'all like to look into each other's eyes, okay? Yeah, y'all are real romantic, okay? Shout out to y'all. I love that for y'all, okay? Yeah, continue to spend that quality time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need three more spirit. Or is that it? Let me shuffle three more times. Uh-oh. Three more. Three more. This one wants to come out. Two more. Ooh, too much. I'm gonna take the first two, okay? Let me take the first two. One, two. Okay, that's it. All right, let's go. If I seem like I'm in a rush, I am. <laughs> I soon have to wash my ass really quickly. And uh, 
go pick my daughter up from school, okay? I had a very busy day today and I'm still not done, okay? But I'd rather be busy than broke. I'd rather be busy than motherfucking stuck, okay? Praise God, okay? So, <clears throat> let's get into it. First card here on the board, I, I see that you guys, your masculines, uh, those of y'all that are in relationships, sex, uh, relationships, situationships, married, whatever the fuck, okay? Apply where it resonates. I also am not here to, uh, only say like oh heterosexual relationships and shit like that some of y'all are also gay lesbian transgender all that shit so whatever energy i'm reading you guys uh need to replace the energy with where you with where you fit in okay so if i say he you can say she if i say she you can say he you know what i'm saying whatever the fuck it is if i say she you can say they them i don't give a fuck all right i'm just here to do the reading okay so uh, i just needed to make that psa okay god bless so what I see here in the first card, um, it's coming out in the upright. So the masculine energy uh, in you guys' relationships, confirmation, the masculine energy um, <clears throat> in you guys' relationships love to watch your sexy ass sleep. He's just watching her and she's sleeping naked too, ass out, titties just hanging out, <laughs> okay? Sleeping there, like sleeping fucking beauty, okay? um natural true this woman is a natural woman i can tell because you know when women with natural breasts you know when they lay down and their titties go lopsided and shit <laughs> okay so her titty her left titty is all the way to the left because she she laying on her left side <laughs> you see what i'm saying but this uh man or whoever you are the masculine energy um is just looking at your ass like he is in complete amazement He's just feeling so blessed to have you in his life, okay? The next card out is a bondage, BDSM type of behavior. Um, some of y'all like to dress up really sexy, lingerie and shit like that. And y'all like to tie each other up and just surrender, okay? And tell your baby, baby, just do what you want to me, okay? So y'all are definitely into that. That came out in the upright. Now we have this third card coming out here in reverse. This third card is saying... <laughs> okay, this third card is saying that... The masculine and the masculine energy in you guys' relationship situationships and shit like that, um, they like you to be up their ass, okay? I'ma just call it like I see it. Yeah, they 109 on the timer. Yeah, they like you to be up 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 their ass, and currently you're not up their ass. Because maybe uh some of y'all are you you work hard or you know you got multiple children and you know or or you've been putting that love into yourself. But the masculine is saying the masculine and it could be the masculine or the masculine energy, y'all. Please apply where it resonates. I don't want to make this more difficult than what it has to be. Um <laughs> But the masculine energy wants you to be up his ass. He wants you to eat next to him. He want to be in the bathroom when you're shitting. Okay, when you take a bath, he wants to sit there on the toilet and watch you. When you're cooking, he wants to be right there, cook, watching you cook. Any fucking thing you're doing, okay, he wants he want you to be up his ass, okay? So that means that he want, he loves you, okay? He loves you so much. And, and he, he doesn't want to spend too much time apart. Or, or he doesn't want to be too far away from you. You understand? Your partners, whoever they are, they love you, okay? You need to know that. Um, on the up right here, okay, I see that y'all like to get a little frisky, okay, on the couch. <clears throat> There's a couple here, and um, or two lovers, right? Some of y'all are not uh, exclusive. Some of y'all just have fuck buddies and shit, all right? Apply it where it resonates, okay? It's your life. I don't I don't know your life, okay? But I see two people here on the, co on the couch, and... Um, It looks like they were doing some, oh. I don't know if this is a leech, a, a leech. <laughs> I don't know if this is a, a leash on her wrist or this is some sort of, what the fuck is this? Uh, it looks like a, it could be a leash, a hanker. You know those handkerchiefs like those clown, those magicians use where they keep pulling the fucking handkerchiefs out the out the bag? It looks like that. Um, if not, none of those. It, it looks like it can be, it looked like they was doing some fucking arts and crafts, okay? Maybe y'all was doing arts and crafts with the children, okay? And then y'all decided to get frisky, okay? Period. Y'all got horny, okay? We're adults. We get horny. Dicks get hard, okay? Pussies get wet. You want to fuck, okay? So um, y'all cuddled up on the couch naked, okay? Maybe y'all put the kids down for a nap. And then y'all cuddled up on the couch, took your clothes off, got underneath the sheet, 
and he started playing with your pussy on the couch. Bro, your titties is out. Some of y'all have very sexy titties. I love titties. I'm gonna be, I love my titties and I love other women's titties. Titties to me are amazing. I also like fat asses too, okay? So yeah, that's just me. <laughs> uh, but maybe, uh, yeah, y'all masculines or the masculine energy here loves your titties. Yeah, he's playing with her breasts and he's like this. You know how you just caress your person? He's rubbing on her. And um, also he's playing with her pussy underneath the sheet okay so yeah spirit is saying keep doing that okay keep 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 doing the shit y'all are doing okay now what y'all need to work on is okay y'all need aggression july babies y'all don't have a lot of aggression in the bedroom y'all are really soft and gentle and oh my god baby but you know spirit is saying sometimes um the masculine or the feminine energy wants wants things to be a little more rough um, she wants you to go harder, faster. She wants you to grab her, grab, you know, fuck her like a slut. She, this is what she wants. Um, some of y'all are into the hair pulling as well. Okay. So spirit is saying, if y'all are into this, tell your partner, you are the one having the experience. <laughs> so why y'all not telling your partners what y'all want to try and what you really want? Like y'all guys need to speak up guys, please speak up in y'all, in y'all sex lives and tell your partners what y'all need and what y'all want. Okay, because that's the only way to really have a successful, thriving sex life. Okay, period. Some of y'all uh, love PDA. Okay, I see here this couple here. Um, they making out right here on the sidewalk. <laughs> okay, so y'all are into that, the PDA type of behavior. God bless. Also, I see here that a lot of you guys love animals. Okay, so I see that the masculine energy is riding a caballo. Caballo is a horse. This masculine here is riding this horse um, and him and his feminine um, are feeding the horse a pair, okay? So some of y'all, y'all like y'all like animals, period. Y'all love animals and y'all like to, excuse me, y'all like to feed the animals as well. And the woman here, she has on like this slip, uh, this slip nylon uh, material dress. And um, the masculine, he just looked like a fucking king, okay? <laughs> Ready to fuck anybody up, even looking at his bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> or thinking they gonna ever touch his woman, period. So um, now the next card, what you guys need to work on, y'all need to work on my July babies. Y'all need to, oh my God. Oh shit, we never got this card. All right, now y'all gonna make my pussy wet, okay? <laughs> Some of y'all, if y'all haven't done this already, y'all want to have sex on a horse. Oh my God, yeah, this is double confirmation because we was just talking about this one. We was just talking about this card right here. Y'all like animals and y'all like to feed the animals, okay? God bless. Yeah, God is saying keep, keep loving on the animals. These are God's animals. You know that, right? These are not just regular old animals. No, these are God's animals that God put here on this earth. Yeah, so keep taking care of the animals. And then... um. Let me try to cover it up because I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. But this card came out in reverse. This couple here, they're on, they're naked on top of a horse. They're being intimate on top of the horse. So some of y'all want to fuck on top of a horse. Now, listen, I'm not recommending that, okay? I would never have sex on a horse. I love animals too much. I don't even want to ride the animals. Yeah, people are going to be mad at me when I go on vacation because they're like, come on, ride the horse. No. I don't believe in that. I don't want to ride a horse, an elephant, a hippo. No, I no the fuck I don't. All right, I me personally, I, I just wanna I just wanna rub them, talk to them, look them in their eyes. I wanna feel their energy. I wanna ask them, are they okay? That's me. I don't wanna ride no fucking animals. All right. So um, but some of y'all want to, okay? So God bless. Just please don't hurt the animal. That's all I'm gonna say. All right. I really do speak for the animals, okay? Uh, what y'all need to work on, feminines, I see here, the feminine energy, um, you need to work on feeding your partner, okay? Your partner wants you to feed them, literally. If y'all have a, a bowl of popcorn here, or y'all have, y'all fucking eating some hot wings, or y'all eating some fruit, okay? Um, you wanna, you wanna feed your masculine, okay? So, masculine energy, you guys need to open yourself up to letting your females, your women, your females, some of y'all have multiple women, okay? You see how I just said? Your females, wow, okay? So, some of y'all into polygamy, threesomes, and shit like that, God bless, <coughs> okay? <clears throat> Yeah, they don't want me to say that. Oh, shit. You heard that? I got choked up. Uh, yeah, but uh, you need to let your feminine feed you, okay? This is sexy. This is Don't be like, babe, what the fuck? I'm not a baby. Fuck you treating me like you're, you're my mother. No, that shit is sexy. 
Are you fucking stupid? Of course she's not your fucking mother. You fuck your mother, you fucking sick bastard? I hope not. Okay? But, um, please just allow your partners to feed you. That's all. Okay? That's sexy. That's sexy time right there. You don't go on dinner dates and, you know, you, you fucking pick the food up and you be like, baby, taste. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's you feeding your person. That shit is so hot to me. Like, yes, feed me. Fuck, feed me. I don't even want to lift the fucking fork. Yeah, feed me. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, what you guys need to work on, you guys need to work on having sexy, intimate conversations, okay? Now, what I mean by this is sometimes in relationships, we can get upset. We can get attitude. We can start bicking, bickering and arguing. Yeah, we can start bickering and arguing and it's fucking stupid. It's low vibrational, okay? What you need to do is you need to learn how to... <laughs> okay, now listen. This is, a par this is a part of manipulation, but this is good manipulation, okay? This is not evil manipulation. There's people out here that's really manipulating the fuck out of you because they trying to do you in. They trying to fuck you over and shit. No, this manipulation that I'm going to teach you about is good manipulation. Okay, excuse me. If you need to speak to your partner about something, regardless what it is, the kids' behavior, um, their behavior, um, things that you want to work on in a relationship, what you need to do is you need to put some sexy shit on. Women and men. Men, just be sitting on the couch one day with your dick out. Baby, come sit down. I want to talk to you. You know, don't be upset and angry or none of that. Just be, babe, come here, sit down. I want to talk to you. And you're going to be like, babe, what the fuck? You got your whole dick out. Yeah, and they're going to be like, yeah, sit down. So I got my dick out. I'm going to talk to you. And let them talk to you, all right? They're going to talk to you nice, sweet, and calm. And then you're going to fuck. You see what I'm saying? This is how you make your relationships better. You have to know how to talk to your people. You ha you can't yell, bicker, and argue. This is why you're running your men and your women away, people. You're running your people away because nobody wants to sit here and do that. That shit is so toxic. Yelling, arguing, fighting. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of my eye. I hate you. No. Listen, our ancestors did all that shit. They trying to teach us the better way. So you have to learn the art of good manipulation. Women, you want to talk to your partner, your partner's been doing something, whatever, you want to talk to them? All right, put on a cute fucking sexy number, put on some cute lingerie, some sexy shit. You know they coming home from the gym, work, work, working, or whatever the fuck, walking the dogs, I don't fucking know. Had that shit on, text him, baby, meet me in the bedroom at four o'clock, okay? That motherfucker gonna walk in the bedroom, you look good as fuck. He never expect, because when he left out, you was in pajamas, you was dealing with the kids, you, was, you didn't shower yet, you didn't put your wig on, you understand what I'm saying? But when he came back, my God, you looked as good as fuck, okay? And he was ready to devour your ass. But you said, uh-uh, give me a second, all right? I want to talk to you. You know, yesterday, I was trying to talk to you about, I wanted to start this new business, all right? And you just brushed me off. You know, you really hurt my feelings. He gonna be like, baby, I'm sorry. What business you wanna do again? All right, he gonna ghost and give you the fucking money. Period. He gonna go make the LLC for you. Word. Then he gonna fuck the shit out of you. Okay? Because you look too damn good. Okay, let's keep fucking going. Yeah, y'all some freak. You some little freaky freaks. <laughs> Shout out to the freaks. Okay, yeah, I love the freaks. I'm a freak. Okay, now, like I said, this is the card that was on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I like to go on dinner dates, spending time with each other, okay? Dinner dates, lunch dates, brunch dates, um, all that shit. And you guys, look what they're doing, guys. They just are literally, oh my God, they're just mesmerized by each other. They're just looking into each other's soul, just saying, damn, baby, I love you. You look so fucking good. You're my fucking angel. You're my baby. My God, I would die for you. I would do anything for you. I don't never want to fucking leave you, man. I pray we even die together. My God, God bless me with you. I don't need nobody else. Whew, God, feed me those fucking grapes. Yeah. Put that wine glass to my mouth. Let me drink, baby. Mm-hmm, yeah. Damn, and you put that, you put on that nice dress for me today, mommy? Mm-hmm. Wait till we get home. I'm gonna tear that ass up. I might just rip your dress. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna buy you another one. Yeah, look, this is what y'all like. This is how, this is what y'all like. Y'all need to keep it up. Spirit says, keep it up. Okay? Because this is, this makes your relationships more spicy. Okay? Period. So... Okay, now, <laughs> we got the Magician card coming out, which is uh, number one, I think it's number one, coming out in reverse. Okay, some of y'all uh, left somebody in the past, and they fucking pissed. This, look at this motherfucker. Look at him. Yeah, somebody pissed. You left somebody behind to move on to your new love? Look at this person. He wants to kill you. I'm not even gonna lie. He wants to kill This person here has a fatal attraction for you. He feels like... Well, if I can't be with her, nobody's going to be with her. 
Listen, send that person love and light. Because this is, he's thinking very irrational. You don't think like that. No, that's how you end up in jail. That's how you end up in six feet deep in the grave, okay? Because God already sees your thoughts. You think you're going to come in and kill this person before this person moves on to their new love? God says, no. Nope. God going to take you out before you think you're going to get to God's child before my child can get to that real love. Yeah, you got God fucked up. Whoever the fuck this person is. Okay, next we have, okay, ooh, my God. Ooh, I love this card. All right, some of the feminines here, some of y'all are sexy. Y'all got dimples in your back. You got a nice ass. It's very round. It's very round. It looks like the perfect apple ass, apple or peach shaped ass. Okay, you have nice sized breasts. You guys like to wear wavy hair. You guys are more petite, more on the slim, slim, thick side. You don't have to be though. Some of y'all can be BBW, th thick as fuck, whatever. But I'm just telling y'all what I see here. Y'all masculines or your masculine energy that you're with is very uh, muscular. My God, they have so many fucking muscles. They love to pick you up. They don't give a confirmation. They don't care how big you are. <laughs> this motherfucker wants to pick you up. <laughs> Shit out of you. Look at that. Okay, I'll just show you this part. Let me show you the, the top of the card. Yeah, this is what this is what y'all need to work on. Your masculine wants to fuck you in the garden and he wants to pick you up and he wants to fuck the shit out of you, okay? So let him do it. Listen, one thing about a real man, a real man, listen, he loves you for you. I don't care if y'all are petite, skinny, slim, thick, wear a size 12, 14, 8, or a fucking 30. I don't give a fuck. If your man love you or your bitch, whoever the fuck y'all are with. They gonna pick that ass up. <laughs> Ooh, shout. And they gonna handle you whichever way, period. They want to because they love you, period, okay? So they don't wanna hurt you. I mean, they wanna hurt that pussy. I'm not gonna lie, they wanna beat that shit up. Oh my God, Chris Brown energy. Chris Brown and, and Sheen, Sean Kingston energy right here. And who else was on that song? I forgot, but it goes, he ain't fly, no. She, he don't even drive, no. That's why you calling my phone and, can't, and won't leave me alone. He ain't fly, no. He don't even drive, no. Hey, that's why you calling my phone and you won't leave me alone. Beep, beep, beep it, beep, beep, beep it. Hey, she wanted me to beep, beep, beep it. <laughs> she wanted me to beep it. Oh my God, yeah. Y'all want to get that pussy beat the fuck up, okay, period. So... Also, what you got, wow, yeah. Okay, so y'all are with a masculine energy, feminines, that loves your ass. He doesn't care what size ass you have. He loves it, okay? He loves to hold it. He loves to touch it. He loves to play with it, smell it, lick it, poke it. He love that ass. You understand what I'm saying? Let me show you the top of this fucking car, but look at him. He got his hand on her ass. Yeah, he, he, y'all, whew, y'all are dealing with an ass lover, okay, Perry? He love that ass. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Damn, y'all making me hot, okay? All right, let me hurry up, okay? We're doing good. So, next, okay, now, some of y'all are in these, uh, th these, uh, y'all like to bring other women in the bedroom, okay? Now, let me talk to y'all about something. Masculines, when y'all are bringing these other women in the bedroom, and your woman, she said it's okay, right? When y'all are bringing these other women in the bedroom, we understand that y'all want different flavors, different looks, this and that. So the way your bitch look, you gonna, you gonna bring a different type of bitch in the bedroom that looks completely different from your bitch. And it doesn't mean that you don't love your bitch, that's your main bitch. But, okay, what you need to do is masculine energy, masculines. You need to make sure that you're sharing the love. Just because you have this new, beautiful female hair. Look at this car. This is the new female bringing, he brung into the bedroom. This is the main bitch. Look at her. She's sad. She's sad because you so into her. You need to pay equal attention to the woman. It's okay to have favorites. They know, trust me. Listen, if women are down with this, they all know their position. Trust me, they all know their position. You got the main bitch, the side bitch, the, the bitch you bring in every fucking Saturday night, whatever the fuck it is, right? But just because you got that young, spicier, fucking exotic bitch coming into the bedroom, don't forget about your main bitch. Your main bitch is that bitch that been there for you. She been riding for your ass. She been dealing with your ass through the highs and lows, going round and round in those motherfucking cycles. So don't treat her like shit just because you got this young, more colorful, 
um, you know, more wild, feminine in a bedroom. That's not right. Look at her. So Spirit is saying it's okay for y'all to have y'all menage twice, threesomes, polygamy, and all that shit that y'all are into. Spirit said it's okay because Spirit wants y'all to be health healthy, okay? Spirit wants y'all to be safe, and Spirit wants y'all to be happy, all right? But look at her. Does she look happy? She looks safe. She look healthy, but she don't look happy, all right? You guys need to make sure you're showing the love, okay? What, you, what I would recommend you guys to do in these situations have the new bitch eat your main bitch pussy. Yeah, that's going to spice some shit up. Yeah. And you watch the shit happen. You watch or have your dick in your main bitch mouth while she get, while the side bitch is eating her pussy. Okay? Or you can have the side bitch eating your main bitch pussy and you can be fucking the side bitch and you watching the eating pussy going down. Listen, God says y'all are doing good, but make sure everybody's happy. All right. If, if, it, if it ain't bringing you joy, then, then what is it bringing you? So if it's not bringing her joy, she's going to walk away. Because she's not. God said, uh-uh, uh-uh. God said, don't tolerate that shit. Period. If, if somebody's not showing you love and they don't change, you have to walk away. Because you have to know your worth. The next card here on the board is um. some of y'all just like to sit out there in the garden in the backyard or whatever. And um, you just like to sit on your masculine's lap, okay? Or the masculine energy's lap. And you just like to have um, those those deep conversations, okay? So y'all, some of y'all are really into conversations and talking and communicating with your partner and seeing eye to eye, you know? Keeping the energy calm, cool, and collective and shit. So Spirit is saying keep that up. Okay, now we over here, we, we getting into these thick girls, okay? This girl right here. Okay, now some of y'all are into, I don't know what this is called, uh, I'm gonna just call it messy sex, okay? Some of y'all like to bring drinks and fruit, food into the bedroom, okay? And y'all like to make it messy, okay? You like to pour drinks in your mat, in your feminine's mouth, masculine and masculine energy, and you like to see it drip, okay? You like to feed her shit, you know? Like cream cheese and whipped cream and shit. And you like to see it messy and shit. You love that shit, okay? This is what y'all are doing. Yeah, you like her to wear these bustier corset tops. You love her titties to sit up nice. Mm -hmm. And you like her to just surrender, okay? God is saying, keep doing that. If that makes you guys happy, that's helping you guys' relationship strive and thrive, God bless. Keep doing it. Now, okay, which, okay what y'all need to work on, okay, you're the feminine. Feminines, you need to work on just letting go, okay? I see here this masculine, look at this card. This masculine, it came out in reverse. So these are things y'all need to work on. So this masculine here, he just wants you to be submissive sometimes, okay? He knows you a strong bitch. He know that, okay? But he's like, damn, like sometimes I just want to grab you up, you know, hit and manhandle you. Not to, to the point where he's hurting you, but he wants to be rough with you. And he wants to just kiss your fucking face off and grab you up and so fucking tight and shit. And um, my God. Some of y'all be resisting the feminine. Look at her. She's like, babe, not now. Babe, please, babe. I just got my hair done. You know, a lot of y'all women, y'all are, are like, I just got my hair done. Oh, this is my new wig, my nails, da, da, da. Y'all need to stop. This came out in reverse. Y'all need to stop. If he fucks up your hair, he know he got to get that shit done again. If he fucks up, break your nail and shit, he know he got to go get you a new set. Masculines know what they're doing. This is what I'm trying to tell you, okay? Masculines and masculine energy. Let them do what the fuck they want to do. Period to you. If you're their partner, you have to resist. I mean, not resist. You have to not resist. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all have to submit, okay? It's very crucial moments in a relationship where your masculine or the masculine energy just wants to, my God, they just want to fucking tackle your ass. You understand? <laughs> Because they're, they're so horny. They're so hot and ready for you, baby. So they want you, okay? So stop uh, resisting. Yeah, okay. The next card here is, okay. Some of y'all uh, want to... Some of y'all want to have sex in the garden, all right? In the jungle. You literally just want to be one with the grass, one with the trees. And um, you want to just put your legs up, okay? You want that pussy to air out, yeah. And your masculine, he wants that dick to hang out. And y'all want to fucking nature, period, okay? So God is saying, go ahead and do it. Be safe. God is saying, be safe. 
All right, y'all don't need to be getting arrested because y'all was so adventurous and spontaneous last night. Be safe. Last card on the board, you guys, okay. <laughs> okay, so the masculine energy here wants to take the feminine on a picnic date. And he wants to bring fruits, vegetables, and, and water and food and shit like that. He wants y'all to eat, right? He wants y'all to actually eat and enjoy the, the picnic. But then after y'all eat the food that y'all brung to the picnic, my God, he wants you to pull your titties out. He wants you to take them titties out, okay? He want to suck your titties, okay? Yes, he want to play with your pussy underneath your dress. You wore that beautiful sundress for a picnic day. Yeah, he wants you to be... He wants to have easy access to you, okay? So he wants you to wear things that your titties can easily come out. He wants you to wear dresses that he can easily put his hand up there and, and, and fucking smell it, taste it. Yeah, smell it, taste it, <laughs> okay? Play with it, okay? So uh, make sure y'all are getting dresses and outfits that are easy, accessible, especially when y'all going out with your, with your masculines and your masculine energy, okay? So guys... This is the energy that I have for my July babies. I'm about to squeeze in one more because I'm really running. Uh, let me see. Let me see what time is it? Let me see. Yeah, I, I can possibly I can squeeze in two more. I'm going to have to speed them up quickly. All right, guys. So listen, July babies, I hope you enjoyed your, your sex reading. Y'all are some freaks. Okay, I'm telling your mama. <laughs> She ain't gonna do shit. Y'all grown as fuck. Okay, again, these readings are 18 and over. Please do not watch these readings. I should have said this in the beginning, but I'm sorry. Please do not watch these readings around your children. If you got AirPods, put them in. Headphones, okay? Um, these readings are not for people that are 18 and under. You're a child. You're a minor. You are not at that age yet where you need to be hearing these type of conversations and shit like that. Even though you may be exposed to it, I don't need your mothers and fathers and family members coming to my channel and hitting me up. Raya J, my child was watching this. Listen, every video on my channel, I mark not for kids. So if you're not checking your children's phones and shit like that and see what they being exposed to, that's not my fault. YouTube knows what I checks on my videos, period. So start being more uh, alert with your children's devices and shit because it's, they, it's a lot of information out here and, and it's easy access to anything, porn and all that shit. This is basically porn. I'm, I'm talking about porn, okay? So, um, well, not porn, but I'm talking about uh, grown folks' sex lives, okay? And the many things that we can do, okay? So listen, I love y'all. I hope this helped. And yeah, I'm sending you all love and light. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. And love. Bye. Bye.